Cycle disturbances uh, in oncological patients are very frequent and they are very often difficult to be managed. There's many reasons uh, why an oncological patients may have troubles uh, with their cycles or may actually develop amenorrhea. Uh, some uh, chemotherapeutical uh, treatments uh, may induce uh, ovarian damage. Radiotherapy in the pelvis uh, is also very often uh, uh, damaging the ovaries uh, and their ability to secrete uh, uh, ovarian hormones. Uh, there's many uh, uh, problems with the drugs that are used uh, in uh, oncological patients, uh, some of which are specifically interfering with the hormonal levels. Uh, for instance, uh, drugs uh, that interfere with the estrogen receptors like tamoxifen and other selective estrogen receptor modulators are often used uh, in uh, breast cancer patients. Uh, aromatase inhibitors also induce amenorrhea because they block the conversion of androgens into estrogens, thus uh, depleting the levels of estrogens in women. Uh, oncological patients are also uh, important in terms of uh, fertility sparing or uh, fertility assessment for the future. When we deal uh, with young oncological patients and we do know that uh, we have to interfere with the hormones for a while, uh, we need to be worried about their ability to recover after the treatment. And this is a very relevant clinical problem. On the other side, there's patients uh, that uh, uh, do need surgical treatments uh, that uh, uh, stop uh, their menstrual cycles uh, uh, and, and need to be assessed as well uh, for uh, the implications of long-term uh, estrogen deprivation. So all these will be the topics of my lectures and I hope you will uh, join and listen to it.